right now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for 13 News Live at 10. I'm Sean Mahoney. For the first time ever, Miss USA has resigned her title, citing mental health reasons. 13 News reporter Renee Romo is in studio with more on this development. Now, Renee, you spoke with a mental health advocate. What did they have to say about this decision? Well, Sean, that mental health advocate praises Miss USA's decision, especially with the month of May being Mental Health Awareness Month. I think she used her platform in an amazing way. Um, we all grew up aspiring to one day being Miss USA or whatever, um, and it's great for girls to see. Miss USA Noella Voigt announced her resignation this past week, and the shock didn't stop there as Miss USA's teen, Uma Sofia Srivastava, announced she was also resigning just a couple days later. Many USA title holders came out in support of Noella's decision, including the current Miss Arizona USA, saying that the prioritization of mental health is of the utmost importance. Isabel Ticlow, a former two-time Miss Arizona, spoke on her experience coping with mental health while wearing the crown. In full candor, there were many moments where I did feel stressed or anxious because you only get this opportunity once or maybe twice in your lifetime, right? So you want to do a really good job. You don't want to do a disservice to the judges who picked you, the other girls you were competing against, or the people who are watching you in this role. DeHevis emphasized how important it is to prioritize your mental health just as much as you would your heart or gut, no matter who you are. But seeing someone like Miss USA being so vocal about putting her mental health first hopefully means more people will do the same. And Ticlo echoed that statement. So I admire their courage in being able to relinquish their titles in pursuit of mental health healing and advocacy because we recently lost a very beloved former Miss USA who died by suicide and that's one too many lives lost to this. Lo added that she hopes that Noella and Uma are able to continue speaking on their experience, saying that their voices will be the key to opening that door to more conversations surrounding mental health, therefore putting it at the forefront. Reporting live in studio, Renee Romo, 13 News.